Well, hello and welcome back to Ravewood Acres. So uh, today we have uh, a kind of a different format for me, something I'm working on a little bit more because there's going to be some changes to the way I produce content and um, we'll, we'll explain that in a future video just because I uh, that I think it would be a full video in itself, maybe maybe even a live, I don't know. Uh, but today we're talking the T-Beam Supreme again and how to get it into bootloader mode and just kind of some of the, the, the functions of the buttons here. Um, and just because there wasn't a whole lot of readily available information, I did find uh, quite a bit of it, you know, after doing some digging and and seeing some comments on some other questions on like places like the Mestastic uh, discourse group and then also there's some information on github but it's uh, specifically not the Mestastic version which is what this is not the soft rf version so let's get started okay so uh, i found these resources in a couple different locations github and the uh, Mestastic discourse group i will put links either here in the video or down below or both so that you guys can find those resources uh, but i was having issues flashing uh, new the new firmware to my t-beam supreme i couldn't figure out how to get into the bootload mode uh, so let's talk about that a little bit we'll talk about the buttons what the buttons do as I figured out based off of information online and then just through a little bit of uh, use since I've purchased this Supreme. So um, so if we're going to talk, we'll talk through the bootload and I'll kind of show you what that looks like in the new uh, newer version of the uh, web base flasher from Mestastic. And then <clears throat> and then we'll uh, let's talk buttons real quick. As you can see, this image I got off of GitHub. And so you can see uh, this is not a Mesh-tastic version, so don't get confused by that the, the screen readout. This is the one with the, what is it, RF Soft uh, or Soft RF version uh, software on it, so, or firmware. Uh, but that doesn't matter. These switches are the same. So as you are looking at the device with your screen, and you can read the screen from the left, boot, power and reset. Uh, boot has a couple different functions. Uh, you can use it to cycle through your screens, uh, but more importantly for what we're doing here today is getting it into boot mode. Uh, as you, you can obviously see there on the screen uh, what we're going to need to do get in boot mode we're, and we'll go through that here in a second. Um, <clears throat> so power button, here's some of the, the features of the power button. You um, when the device is off, press and wait, uh, release the button, and you know it will turn on. When the unit is on, you can press and release to scroll through the OLED uh, information. So the se buttons have several functions here. Like I said, the boot button will also do that. And um, oh, so, um, and then press and keep holding the power button until the off message appears on the OLED screen to shut it down. Uh, I have done that and not seen the off message, it just powered down, so that might be a difference between the um, RF or soft RF and the Mestastic uh, from versions. So, and then obviously you can turn the power on and off with the power button. Go figure, right? <laughs> so, and here's some obviously some discrepancies between the, the features. This one, um, the boot. Uh, cycles between aircraft info pages, which we're not, you know, when it's set up for Mestastic, it's set up for communications, not tracking local aircraft. So those are kind of some of the differences there. And then obviously, if you see here, boot reset, enter into the Express IF service mode, um, and then or press or boot short after reset so and then it'll enter to boot load mode which which what we're looking for as you can see there on the page there's the link so let's get over to the um the load page and get this set up all right so if you see here we're going to go back because this is not working right so we're going to go back so here's the new page uh that uh, flasher 
www.mestastic.org. This looks much different than it used to. If you guys are uh, familiar with the old version, you're, you're going to notice that this is quite a bit different. You have a nice little drop down here. You go down. The, the device you are going to select is the T-Beam S3 core because it does have the S3 core in it. If you see the inside of it, you'll see, you'll notice that. Uh, we are picking the 2.2.16, which is the latest and greatest beta version. Uh, that's what we're running on everything else that we've updated recently, and it's I'm not having any issues with it. Um, so one note I'm going to say before you get started, obviously I already have my device plugged in, and um, I'm getting ready, obviously, to update it. So you're gonna you should get a notification at least you know depending on what operating system you're using you may not i got a notification that you know it recognized it when i plugged it in so that means it's it's picking it up this device the computer is picking up this device and we'll, we'll see here in the screen when it asks you which one that is i do know which and just pay attention if you don't know you just unplug it plug it back in and you'll see it pop up on the screen <coughs> All right, so as mentioned there, to get it into boot loader mode, you're going to press the reset, which is the one closest to the OLED screen. Uh, and then um, and then press boot, and then release reset, and then release boot. So it should work. My only issue is with this 3D printing case, the buttons are uh, kind of hard to push because they're in the recess and so I'm going to try this the first time I'll see if we can get it actually to go into bootloader mode see I slipped off the button there we'll see if that worked all right, so we are going to, we've selected everything. Now we're going to, that, uh, this is, it's got the old screen up here. So let's do just, see, okay. Um, mine right here is, oh boy, it just changed. Okay. And let's try that again. It looks like we're updating. Everything is working. As you notice, flashing app, partition, you got a percentage that, that this is a little different than before. So you guys are seeing it for the first time with me you know, because I have not updated uh, and it looks like everything worked. Now, I already had that on there. And then one thing I'll note is if you're looking to do a full erase and install, which like if you want to start over with a device and you know build a whole new channel or something like that's something good to go or if you're having issues that might help you clear up some of your issues with the device um so i hope you guys all found that useful um i'm gonna go ahead and roll in the screen here a new awesomeness that's coming from um all right so to wrap up with you guys you know i like to share the products that i you know, that I'm purchasing, where I'm purchasing them from. I am affiliated with Rockland. Uh, you know, obviously there's an affiliate link for any of their products down below. They're offering a new product, which is pretty awesome because not everybody wants to go out and buy their own 3D printer. So guess what? They now have 3D printing cases. I'm showing you the one for the T-Beam Supreme. Um, as you can see, they're out of stock. Very high, uh, you know, good interest. So if you if you want to know, they're pretty good about getting things back in stock in a reasonable amount of time. You can go to that email me when available, and you know you'll be good to go. So links for all this will be uh, down below. Uh, the T Beam Supreme. If you're looking at getting one, you can also find them uh, linked to below. They are running low on stock. Lilygo. I, I went direct to Lilygo to try to find some. Uh, appears their website doesn't show you whether or not they're in stock or not but you can find out pretty quick if you place an order and it's been a week and a half and they haven't fulfilled the order yet so and those are coming from China versus why I recommend Rockland for US based 
customers is because they have stuff in stock in the US they ship quick they'll let you know right there obviously out of stock if it's not in stock you'll know before you order the device and you sit around all frustrated waiting weeks if not months to get your get what you're ordered so there obviously has been a major resurgence I think in the interest in Mestastic and lore devices which I of course thinks awesome and if you guys are also interested you can check out our telegram group link in the video and below and where you can just chat with us we have people from all over the world over there i think we're up to over 50 members which is awesome we've grown really quick we've had some good conversations share good information with each other you can build your own subgroups from there your own community groups if you want to try to find them there's the possibilities are endless there and i'm really enjoying it and i hope you guys join us over there Check out our website, theravenwoodacres.com. You can check out our Laura Mesh Communications playlist linked here in the video. Follow us at other social media links, which are linked below. Stay tuned for more. And as always, thanks for watching.